Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Humans in Five. I don't know about you, Michelle, but I've always found it tricky to read maps. Whether I'm using a paper map or following a little blue dot on my phone screen, my head struggles to put together what's happening in an image and what's actually around me. Lucky for Sarah Louise, when we've been traveling together, I don't find reading maps that tough. Is my brain just made for reading maps and Sarah Louise's isn't? Am I always destined to be the navigator on our little trips? Researchers looking into this map struggle have found that I'm not alone. Amy Lobbin and her team at the University of Oregon research human environmental decision-making and behavior, and they're particularly interested in how humans make decisions when they're using maps. They use a combination of brain scanning equipment, eye tracking studies, and real world experiments where they watch how people use maps. Lobbin has found two aspects that vary between people when it comes to map reading skills. The first is the ability to move your perspective from your street view to a bird's eye view. Lobin had participants in her study complete a computer-based map use test, which tested their ability to shift from a street view to a bird's eye view. Then they completed a real world test where they were dropped off in the middle of town and had only a map to get to their meeting point. Participants who performed well on the computer test usually did well on the real world test, taking a direct route without consulting the map too much. The others, just like me, didn't take a direct route and, well, spent a lot of time checking the map. The second aspect that varies between map readers is mental rotation. This is the ability to visualize an object in space and, importantly, know what that object looks like from all directions. Lobin found that people who have strong mental rotation skills can always imagine where the north, where north is on the map, no matter which direction they're traveling in. Now we can't talk about map reading as women and not address the elephant in the room. Are women worse at reading maps than men? Previous studies point back to this issue of mental rotation. Men in those studies find it easier to imagine objects in space. Scientists suggested that this skill was evolutionarily important for men when it came to hunting and finding their way back to their community. University of Illinois researcher Justin Rhodes reviewed 35 studies on the spatial abilities of multiple species, everything from cuttlefish to macaques. He found that in 8 out of 11 species, males demonstrated moderately superior spatial skills to their female counterparts, regardless of the size of their territories or the extent to which males ranged farther than females of the same species. Rhodes suggested that this difference in spatial abilities may just be a side effect of testosterone more than a specifically male ability. Additionally, Studies of engineers who use mental rotation found that with training, women could make up any gap between the sexes in a matter of months. So what can I do to improve my map reading skills? Well, it looks like practice might make perfect when it comes to map reading. Eleanor McGuire at University College London studied the structure of the hippocampus, which controls spatial memory in the brain, in London taxi drivers. She found that the hippocampus was actually enlarged in taxi drivers compared to the rest of the population because their living relies on their ability to use a map. It looks like I'll be taking up map reading duties for our next trip then. We hope this gets you ready to take up map reading duties too, and we'll see you next time on Humans in Five. Don't forget to navigate to that subscribe button.